Holy crap, the gray wolf. Isn't a scientific name like something like Canis Lapis? But what, what's it doing in Iowa? I thought they were extinct in Iowa. I mean, I know they live in the Northern Hemisphere, but they haven't been in Iowa in years. Oh my god. What's it doing here? I mean, it barely has any of the biomes like tundras and mountains. I mean, it's a carnivore, so I guess I should be careful. Because it could eat me in a few seconds. Good thing it's not in a pack, though, because that's how they hunt. They usually hunt in packs. It's, I guess, I guess it makes sense why it's out, since it's the, the, the diurnal animal. Oh god, it's, it's better luck. Oh god. But why is it, where's its partner? I would expect this wolf to be like a mating wolf, since they only, since most wolves have one mating wolf throughout the year. But, but why is it here? Maybe because it's smart and tracks some rabbits here. Oh god, it's, it's still, still sitting up. I mean, there were some rabbits around here earlier, but we just mowed the grass, so I expected to run away from it, from the loud noises. Oh my god. I didn't catch it because it's going to run for 35 miles per hour. Oh god, it's still standing up. It's still sitting up. And I can hear, and it can hear a lot better than humans and rabbits combined. Maybe I should kick it to kill it because it can die easily from being kicked in the head. But I don't know, but this... This wolf is pretty big since they normally get up to 34 inches of, of shoulder length. Oh my god, it's huge. Uh, you, sometimes these were, some, you know, sometimes these wolves are friendly. Let me see if it is. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, are you going to be nice for me? <laughs> Random fact time. Did you know that some wolves climb trees, but most of them cannot, uh, allowing them to not be able to get most birds, including pigeons and doves, in areas that they live in? And they're also one of the most dominant predators in Iowa until they became extinct from hunt hunting, so they moved to a different area which was more full of food, and then most, most of them were moved to endangered habitats. Most of them were moved to endangered animal facilities. And also, what I just said in the actual video is true. Some wolves are found to be friendly and you can actually go up and pet them for a bit. But that's because they just think you have food because you smell so good. And because they hunt in packs, they are able to take down large animals, even elephants. Uh, if they have a big enough pack, like about 10 wolves, they are able to take down a fully grown elephant. They mainly take down such large prey to be able to feed the pups, since in wolf packs, they cubs are the most important so they can live on and expand the pack even further. Wolves are highly intelligent and have much better hearing than humans, allowing them to, be to easily hunt prey without even being detected. They have interlocking teeth, which allows the wolf to hold onto its prey without the prey being able to get out. You'll easily be able to tell a dominant wolf from the pack with a tail held, held high because it shows dominance among the pack. Okay. Okay. This thing might not be able to get to me now. Okay. Good thing, too, because it can eat up to 20 pounds, and that would just be dinner for this thing. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to get in. Hey. Oh, my God. But how did I even manage to get away? That thing can run 35 miles per hour. Maybe I have to try kicking it to kill it. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think it's dead. Okay. Uh. Oh. It's not dead! I don't want it! Holy crap. Oh my god, it's a gray wolf. Isn't it? <laughs> you the gray wolf can even run up to an astounding 20. 20... 20... 20... 20... 20...